Okay, so the next on my list is the MIUI ROM. So that's the boot up screen. It's actually very nice, nice graphics. Something different again. MIUI, United Worldwide. <laughs> okay. So let's wait for it to finish booting up. Once again, this is uh, one of the more popular launchers, especially in Asian countries. But people use it worldwide and uh, it's available on a wide variety of the devices. Once again, I attached the link below the video so you can go to the website and check it out. Okay, so let's begin. Agree, start. We don't want it in Chinese, let's select English. So straight from the start, you can see it looks different. The welcome screen is not your stock Android. And even the, the notification icons are different. The notification area is also white as compared to the usual black and you have a whole list of toggles on top okay let's just skip that quickly we don't need wi-fi at the moment no not now okay that should be it so yeah done okay so, setup's complete so let's have a look Okay, so here we go. So as you can see, the launcher is completely different. All the icons are changed. They have uh, they have their own themes that you can find here. So it's the local one installed, but you can find a lot more online. There's a lot of apps pre-installed with the phone, such as the Torch, Sound Recording, Calculator, Compass, etc., etc. Here you can uh, edit the widgets and go to launcher settings and your settings but let's have a look at what we get uh, what apps we get so you get ROM manager pre-installed movie studio the MIUI app, MIUI stats uh, Gmail, Play Store so it, it, it feels like it's a fully featured ROM with all the apps you may need in the beginning so it, has, it even has Google Maps installed, the calendar, the weather app, the notes app so let's go into the launcher setting, let's have a look at what the launcher offers because it's a very nice MIUI launcher. So you can change the transitional effects, there's a whitelist, let's choose the 3D cubes, you can change the way the wallpaper scrolls, the cell layout type, so let's make it 696, okay, so it's loading, so yeah, as you can see, just change the layout of that. And the most important part, let's go into settings and see what the ROM has to offer. So the settings look different again. Uh, here are the common settings, but let's go to the complete ones. So you can, uh, let's go into toolbox. So as you can see, you can uh, in here you can uh, change the different MIUI settings. Uh, to do that, you can just swipe left and left, right and let's see what they are. So you can change this, the clock to center. Okay, then you can hide A and PM, you can do a custom carrier label, you can change the colors. Okay, there we go, so it's changed. You can change the colors and modify the launcher. That's it, so let's go back in the under the per under the device tab you can change the buttons and keys and also the LED settings and that is pretty much it so you basically get a modified launcher and the ROM has its own pluses and minuses it's very customized you may like it or hate it it doesn't come with any uh, CPU modification settings etc so it's basically just an alternative to the stock launcher but it looks very nice And that was MIUI. So let's have a look at the last one on the list. Okay, so the last launcher on my list that I want to talk about is called Jelly Bomb. This is going to be version 6.5.0. And out of all launch, this one has the best bootloading animation by far. <laughs> look at this. Okay, so the device is fully booted up. And all we see is a black screen. The reason is there's two different launchers pre-installed. So we have a choice of Trebuchet or TouchWiz. I'm gonna use trebuchet for now. 
Okay, so let's have a look in the app list. So you have an Android Android Tweaker, Apollo, Awesome Beats, uh, Play Store, File Manager, uh, Super su Super S User, X Post Installer, X Post App Settings, pre-installed with the ROM, which is a nice addition. So yeah. If you look, you also have Jelly Bum wallpapers. So here we go. So you have a choice of a few graphics. There's actually quite a few of them. <laughs> I really like the last one. Okay, so let's just set it as my wallpaper. And now let's have a look in the settings. So, as you can see, this is Android 4.2.2. And it says it's Paranoid Android version 3.1, CyanogenMod 10.1, Android Open Kang Project Build 4, and Jellybum 6.5. So, what's going on here? Basically, this ROM is a Mudley. It's a mixture of the three three ROMs shown here. So if you go to settings, you'll see a huge list of different controls. So for example, you can have BAM control customization. Then you will have Paranoid preferences. So once again, you can use all the functions that you've seen in Paranoid Android. You have the themes. And here you have performance control. Okay. And yet another app for performance. So it's a little bit of a mess, but if you are a lot into tweaking and like to have everything under control and want to make, and if you're unsure which ROM to choose, this is probably the one to get because it has features of all of them except the MIUI. So, so I'm not gonna go into detail of what you can set up in here because there's a there's a huge list of options. It's basically everything you've seen in Paranoid Android, everything you've seen in Cyanogen Mode, and everything you've seen in Android Open Kang Project is put into one in this single ROM. And the ROM is available on a wide range of devices once again, so I I attached the link below, so make sure you check it out. I think at the moment it's one of the best ROMs out there, just because it it features the best of all worlds, so the best of the three most widely used launchers out there. If you go also, if you go into settings, this one, this one same as Cyanogen Mod has an option to uh, to auto update. So you'll see the updates once you go to update me. And okay, cancel. And here ROM, it will show you once uh, an update is available. So you can just check for ROM update and yeah, there you go. So that was my list of five best Andro uh, Android ROMs of 2013. As I said before, they're available on many Android devices. Uh, each ROM is a little bit different. I think the CyanogenMod mod has the widest range of devices but other ones are catching up, so make sure you, you check them all out and let me know what you think in the comments below and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned.